Multiplex Automated Genome Engineering, or MAGE, may be a quicker and more cost-effective method of tailor designing genomes compared to Craig Venter's genome synthesis techniques. So what is MAGE? MAGE is a technique that allows precise changes such as deletions, insertions and mismatches to be made at any specific position within a genome. To incorporate these changes, single-stranded DNA sequences known as oligonucleotides or oligos are synthetically designed in a lab. These sequences need to have at least 35 base pairs of complementary sequence to their target location within the genome. In the middle of these oligos, you can incorporate the changes that you want to make to the genome. These changes can be single nucleotide, or up to 60 base pairs in a row, although efficiency drops off after 20 base pairs. And as the name suggests, these changes can be multiplex, as in multiple changes can be made simultaneously. For example, a mismatch could occur in one part of the genome at the same time that a deletion occurs in another. Once the oligos have been made, they are moved into the cells by electroporation. The oligos then bind to their complementary sequence, which is exposed at the DNA replication fork as cells prepare to divide. The lagging strand is more exposed, and so this is where the oligos bind. E. coli cells also express proteins, known as beta proteins, to protect the oligos from being degraded once in the cell. These cells are also devoid of mismatch repair, so that the changes made are not corrected. So of the four single DNA strands involved in this process, only one contains the mutation. When this cell divides, one daughter cell will be unchanged, and the other will contain the mutation in only one of its strands. When the mutated cell divides, one of its cells will be unchanged, but the other will have incorporated the mutation along with its complementary base. So at this stage, roughly 25% of the cell population has the change. However, if this same population is exposed to the oligo again, then a greater percentage of the population will have incorporated the change. It takes approximately six of these cycles to introduce the mutation to all the cells. This process may seem time consuming, but as the name suggests, it has been automated. A machine known as a MAGE device controls each step in the process. Firstly, it monitors cell growth until the cell population is big enough. Then, beta pr protein expression is induced. Cells are then moved to a filter to remove the growth medium and ions, which may interfere with electroporation. A water solution containing the oligos is added to the cells before the cells are moved to the electroporation area. Cells are then placed back into growth medium for recovery and their growth monitored before the process starts again. The only human intervention is adding the initial E. coli cells and oligos to the device. As an example of MAGE uh, is that it was used to change all 314 tag stop codons to the TAA stop codon in E. coli. 90 base pair oligos were designed to target each of these 314 regions with each oligo having a single nucleotide change in the middle of its sequence. Following multiple MAGE cycles, all tag stop codons had been replaced. These strains could now have their tag stop codon reassigned to code for a 21st amino acid. With a reassigned stop codon, these cells would now be resistant to viruses, as viral genomes would be mistranslated. A potential application of MAGE is bringing the mammoth back from extinction. The mammoth genome is known, however building this genome is not yet possible. Craig Venter's genome synthesis technologies cannot yet build such a large genome. By starting with an elephant genome and using oligos based on the mammoth's genome, it is possible to transform the elephant's genome into the mammoth's genome using MAGE. Likewise, the same principle could be applied to bringing the Neanderthal back by using a human genome. MAGE is a versatile technology with many applications, from making specific changes within a genome to performing whole genome directed evolution. MAGE is thus a very significant new technology for synthetic biologists.